Hello, in this video we continue to explore different implementation of SPI communication from different devices. Here we will talk about simplest possible implementation of sending an hexadecimal value from the STM32 to the Raspberry Pi in SPI format and uh, how we can we implement uh, via this communication with implementation of the code in both computers. A few slides regarding the abbreviation. This is uh, the STM32 board that uh, I use. It's a nuclear board with the following pin, uh, pin set. So when I regard to the pin connection, it's going like this. Here you see uh, basically those are the numbers to connect. This is a pinout of the Raspberry Pi 5, which uh, used, was used in this video, where we used those SPI uh, pins and we are using this, the, those numbers of the pins for the connection abbreviation. Now, after we explored the streams of the pinout, we can uh, relate to this uh, basic connection diagram when we connect MOSI with, Mo with relevant MOSI. And here you can see the pin numbers that were actually connected, so you can do it uh, in the same way uh, in your project. This is a standard SPI uh, connection. It's uh, worth to point out that STM32 is defined as slave and Raspberry Pi 5 is defined as a master because on the principal Raspberry Pi always have to be defined as a master. There's a few turnarounds and uh, we can uh, do some implementations where Raspberry Pi will be a slave but mostly it's designed to be a master. Regarding our resources, we use the Sims IoT Devices repository on GitHub, where all the SPI data is defined in the FreeRTO, the SPIDF, SPI repository. Here, in this stage, we have five different uh, implementations, where in the current video, we are talking about the implementation number five. Implementation number five connects STM32 with Raspberry Pi via the SPI communication format. And here you have two files. The Python file uh, will be implemented in the Raspberry Pi. And you can note that this is very simple and very short file. And the C file is implemented in the STM32. Okay, now we are in the computer which is connected to STM32 board. Uh, so we are going here to the five STM file for the slave uh, uh, definition. And here we have a file which we can't put as is inside our project of in the STM32 cube ID. So we will have to copy only the specific lines from the user code in different parts of this uh, code. We open the project SPI slave on our computer inside the cube ID. And first we have to define the pinout configuration, which is here. SPI, SPI1, defines the following pins. Here you have three of those defined as uh, clock, uh, MISO, and MOSI. And we also defined an additional pin here, this one, for chip select. SPI is defined as a full duplex slave. And uh, we have the following parameters uh, here. Other parameters wasn't changed. 
Now regarding the main file. Okay. Uh, we added the following snippets of code. Inside user code begin, we, inc we included the stdoh here. This part was added automatically by the system uh, when we defined the SPI. This is, was also generated automatically. Here you see inside user code begin one, we define the variable which we will send and we will send this value to the Raspberry Pi. This is an automatic definition of hardware abstraction layer and the system clock. And here you see in the user begin two, we defined only two lines. We defined the GPIO line, pin number six for the chip select. And the only function that we are using is a hardware abstraction layer SPI transmit where we're sending the TX data. And we wait for one second. And this is all the code. It's the simplest possible code to send an SPI message. You see other things are generated automatically here with SPI, UART and so on. Uh, we will run this code. Okay, it uh, compiled uh, without errors and warnings. We are waiting for the debugger connection. The, the compilation was uh, performed successfully and now we are sending an SPI message to the Raspberry Pi. So our next stage, we'll, we'll, we will go to the Raspberry Pi 5 computer and see which message we will uh, receive when we're expecting the following, the following data to be sent. Okay, now we, oh, we're recording from the Raspberry Pi computer when we have this Python file, which we downloaded from the GitHub repository uh, in the editor. So remember that uh, STM32 board is connected and sending the AA hexadecimal value here. And our purpose is to receive it. So we run the code. And here we receive this value, you see, via SPI. We can stop it, run it again, and again we have received this value. Uh, so here we demonstrated the sending of the simplest possible SPI uh, value from the STM32 board to the Raspberry Pi 5. Thank you.